Hey guys, my name is Yasmina and welcome back to my channel. So, NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo is coming up. I don't know when this video will be up, but probably very, very soon. So, I wanted in today's video to just give you some tips on how to navigate NaNoWriMo and how to get the best experience possible from November's NaNoWriMo. And of course, how to win. NaNoWriMo. So if you're not aware what I'm talking about, NaNoWriMo stands for National Novel Writing Month and it's an event that takes place every single November. It's been going on for I think about 20 years or so where aspiring writers or published writers or any kind of writer takes on the challenge of writing 50,000 words in a month and that totals to about 1,667 words a day minimum. And if that sounds easy to you, then you probably never participated. <laughs> I have participated every single year since the first year. I can't remember, but I think it's been around 10 years, which is, I don't, it's been a long time. I've only won it, I think twice, but even just participating and just getting any words down is super good and just joining in the community surrounding NaNoWriMo is super fun and super motivating and it just makes you want to write and no matter how much you actually end up with at the end of the month you know whether it's five words 5,000 words or 50,000 words I think it's worth just trying it out and participating so yeah I just wanted to talk about some tips and general things to consider <laughs> when participating in NaNoWriMo and how to make the best of your NaNoWriMo experience. So without further ado, let's get on with the tips. If I have been a good author tuber and have managed to upload this video in October, then that means it is Preptober time. And the number one tip I have for you on how to win NaNoWriMo is to participate in Preptober. And that just means prepare for NaNoWriMo and plan out what you're going to write. You don't have to go all in and do a complete outline and scene cards, you can. I have done that, I have tried that. Even the most basic planning, knowing what genre the book is going to be, who is the main character and what tense you want to write in, even just simple things like that, it's worth thinking about before the 1st of November because on the 1st of November, you just want your fingers to just go all in and start writing. You don't wanna then sit down and think, okay, so what am I actually writing? But you should plan ahead as much or as little as you want. And I have some some of my writing vlogs and Preptober writing vlogs that I can link in the cards and down in the description so you can see some of what I have done, for example, last year, where I did plan quite a bit for my NaNoWriMo novel. You know, there are so many worksheets and video tutorials and books out there that can help you plan your novel. So just, you know, do a bit of research and see what works for you. It can be very simple. I also recommend reading some writing books. For example, Save the Cat Writes a Novel by Jessica Brody. I'll also link a video of writing craft books that I've made quite a long time ago. I should probably make an update of that video because I've read better books writing craft books since then but you know this is also kind of a tool to help you create the outline for your novel and just to have an idea of what to write about and how to go about writing it how to structure the novel because again it will help you a lot once you actually sit down to write a thousand six hundred sixty seven words in a day you really don't want to have to think about those things then you just want to write Another thing you can do before November 1st rolls around is actually go on to the NaNoWriMo website and create your book. Just have it ready, name it, you know, add some buddies, just get into the spirit of NaNoWriMo because I think that's going to make you a lot more motivated before the 1st of November actually hits. So just browse around the NaNoWriMo website and see what you can do. I think they add like new features and things every single year. I'm not sure what it's going to be like this year. Follow some people over there, you know, search for your local NaNoWriMo fellowship. What am I talking about? Just search for other people in your area that are doing NaNoWriMo. And that can just help motivate you once the time actually comes to start writing. 
schedule your writing time depending on sort of the needs of your life. We all lead very different lives and I can't really tell you what to do because it really depends on what your schedule normally is like. But since you do need to write 1,667 words a day to meet that goal, then depending on how fast you write, you know, that can be half an hour, that can be an hour, that can be five hours. So I don't really know how much time it needs. And honestly, even for me, that fluctuates quite a bit depending on my mood and, you know, in my inspiration and so many things. So yeah, sometimes it takes 30 minutes. Sometimes it takes the whole day to write that amount. And sometimes I don't even make it to that amount. And I still feel like I've written the entire day or I've sat down in front of my computer the entire day and have only written 500 words. But I think if you try to schedule a specific time every single day that works out with what you have, you know, with your job and your family life and your other hobbies, maybe in the evening at some point after dinner, you know, and try and sit down for that one hour every single day and try to write the allotted amount of words, then I think that's that's a good way to go about it. Instead of finding bits of time scattered around the day, I think it's nice to, to just be able to sit down for an hour and only focus on this. I think that is also a much more enjoyable writing experience, you know, than jotting down 10 words on your way to work or something like that. And to go along with my previous tip, you know, let the people in your life know that you're doing this so that they can give you that space so that they don't barge into your office while you're doing this and disturb you so that they know that for that 30 minutes or for that hour, they should just pretend that you're not there or just let you do your thing because again it makes it a lot harder if people are constantly you know messaging us or coming and knocking at our doors because they want something when they should know to just give you your space and let you do your thing so but they can't do that if you don't let them know um, that you actually need that space so don't be afraid to like let others know that you're doing this you don't have to be embarrassed or anything it's nothing to be embarrassed about but just you don't even have to tell them what it is just tell them that you need that time and that space for them not to bother you for that amount of time every evening so i think that would help a lot and so then you can create a routine around that writing time so that one hour in the evening after dinner maybe you light a candle maybe you have a type of music going on or just some ambient noise i also have some recommendations for some ambient noise apps i think i will also link some videos that i made in the past <laughs> about that but you can create a kind of routine you know you can clear out your desk and just have a nice space where your brain is now like in writing mode so that makes it easier to actually sit down and start typing if all of these different things that you consistently do throughout the month of november kick in then your brain also kicks in and it's like yep now it's writing time so now you just have to worry about writing those words and i think it's also nice it's a nice writing experience it's nice to be in your own little space and in your own little world and then the only thing that you have to worry about for that amount of time. And if you find that you're struggling writing 1,667 words, no matter how many hours you actually are able to write during the day, try out writing sprints. Every single November and not even just throughout the year, there's so many accounts, especially on Twitter, who run writing sprints. But the NaNoWriMo official account always runs writing sprints throughout the month of November. So make sure you follow them on Twitter and try out those writing sprints. It usually goes for around 20 minutes, I think, and they even give you a little prompt. You can follow it or you don't have to follow it. But I think it helps, especially if you're stuck, the writing prompt plus the time limit of 20 minutes and just try to write just anything. Just let your fingers, you know, span across the keyboard and don't think too much, just write. I think that really, really helps. I've tried that a few times in the past and it really helps. And you can be, you'll can you be surprised how much you can actually write in 20 minutes if you really focus and you don't stop every minute and think about the next word or the next sentence and you just write. You'll be surprised how many words you can actually do in that short amount of time. And like I said, there's many people that run these writing sprints. I'm pretty sure there's also a lot of author tubers here on YouTube 
who have these writing sprints or have like ride along live streams, you can also join some of those and just make it into a more of a social thing. And also on Twitter, you know, you can then reply to NaNoWriMo's tweet saying, you know, how much you managed to write in those 20 words and just kind of, I don't know, connect with other writers and make it into more of a social thing instead of a very lonesome, it's a very lonesome uh, activity most of the time. And then yes, I already mentioned writing prompts. So a lot of these accounts on Twitter also give you some writing prompts that you can try out if you're stuck and you don't know what the next scene should be about. They just give you a random writing prompt. And sometimes you can kind of, you know, create that writing prompt to make sense into your novel. And other times it's honestly just a way to warm up and to just write something completely unrelated, but it still adds to the total word count. And maybe you'll discard it later on. Maybe you can find a way to actually make it work with your story. But I think more than anything, it helps to just loosen you up and warm you up and, you know, just have some words down. And not just on Twitter, of course, but you can just find random writing prompts online. There's many different like writing prompt generators. I'm sure you can find loads of examples. So, but if you ever feel stuck, just try out a writing prompt. And I already mentioned writing craft books. Again, if you're kind of stuck or lacking motivation or inspiration, you can always read a bit from a writing craft book that usually gives me more motivation to write. You can also listen to writing podcasts. I will recommend some of my favorite writing related podcasters down below in the description. So make sure you check that out. Um, also follow other author tubers like myself or many other author tubers here on YouTube, on Twitter. That can also help motivate you and inspire you because most of these people usually post throughout the months of November on their different social medias and you know you can connect more with them and you can hopefully get a bit of more you know motivation and inspiration from them to keep going yourself try out different writing methods so if your usual routine is to sit down at your desk at your computer and write and some days that just doesn't work try something else try pulling out a blank notebook and going in your garden going on your balcony going even to your kitchen table just kind of change the space a little that can sometimes help and like i said instead of using the computer try out pen and paper try writing on your phone try dictating try a typewriter there's so many different ways you can actually write and if you feel stuck sometimes just changing your environment or changing the way you're going about writing can actually help a lot. And I do this a lot sometimes. I would just take out my digital typewriter and I don't know, go in the garden or in the greenhouse or just in a different room. And I always find that helps. And I write so much more during that session, at least in that specific you know, day when, where I, otherwise I would be stuck and just staring at my laptop screen for hours and not doing anything. And I've already mentioned the NaNoWriMo website. Utilize the NaNoWriMo website. It actually has quite a lot of really cool features. Like I said, you can follow different people and follow their, their progress. That's also another way to like motivate yourself. To, to write more words. They also have a bunch of useful features and they, I think they also, they used to at least have a newsletter that every single day they would send out a newsletter from a famous writer with tips and with motivation. And that's also really useful. And they also have this you know, community aspect in NaNoWriMo where you can join a local writing group. Now, before 2020, you could actually meet up with a lot of these people at your local library or just at a local cafe and actually have writing nights, which I've never actually attended, but I always wanted to. But of course, since 2020, that has not been happening in person at least, but you can join them on Discord or, you know, different live streams. I'm sure there's many ways of now doing it, you know, digitally. Then you can also meet fellow writers in your area and make writing friends, which is also a great way to motivate yourself when you actually have people in your life that understand what you're doing and are actually doing the same thing um, instead of you being alone in your own little bubble. I think that also can help a lot. And most importantly, I think just keep going. NaNoWriMo can be so crushing and hard and lonely at times. It can feel like an impossible feat. I've been there. 
I've been on the opposite ends of the spectrum. I've had NaNoWriMo's where everything went smoothly and I wrote so much and I was so happy with what I wrote, with what I've been writing. And I even wrote more than 50,000 words in a month. And I have had more than, more than half of those NaNoWriMo's where every single word was a struggle and it felt like I would never hit that, even that 10,000 word mark that month and sometimes I did and sometimes I didn't and it's okay it's okay to fail no one will come hound you down if you fail the whole point is to just come together as a writing community and write towards a goal if you hit that 50,000 words or not it doesn't it's not really that important all you get is a silly little digital award and some discounts like it's not a big deal if you don't win but i think the important part is to participate and to be involved in the community and to just motivate yourself to work a little towards a writing project that's how i look at it and i just think you should keep going and don't give up after five days when it starts getting hard even if you feel like you're not gonna hit you know, the marks for the day, just keep going a little bit every day. And maybe after a few days, then you'll be back on your course and actually finish the 50,000 words. But if you have given up after the, those five days, you would never have, you know, come back up. So just keep going. And remember, it's not a big deal if you don't write 50,000 words. It's, no one is going to come knocking down your door and taking away your typewriter. Okay, so just do your best and have fun. That's also a very important tip. Have fun writing. I think those were all of my tips that I have for you. I hope some of these resonate with you and you can use some of them to have a better experience doing NaNoWriMo. I always try to do as many of these things as possible because like I said, it can be quite a challenging month and quite a challenging just task to do. To write a novel in a month. I try to utilize as much as I can because every single thing I feel like helps and if I can write 10 more words because of a writing prompt or writing sprint than I would have otherwise I consider that a win and so I hope you will participate in this year's NaNoWriMo and if you do add me on NaNoWriMo website. I'll link my profile down in the description and I'll also link all my other writing vlogs and writing related videos that I've made over the years. I have a playlist so you can have some little more inspiration if you need it. And otherwise, I hope you will do a great job during NaNoWriMo and write 50,000 words or write however many words you will be able to towards your writing project. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time in a new video. Bye.